Alright, so the next tool that we use in uh, QC Metal is the detector. And the detector it's basically used to check angles that are called out in the drawings. And so how do we know the angles that are called out in the drawing? It's through this little table over here. And we use the fixed face drawing for reference um, to know the, 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 the particular faces that are called uh, that are required to bend or required to check the, the angles. And so from these we can see that this is B and this is C and this is A. So what this means is the the the, the alphabet or the letter sitting on top of the line is saying that this part is um, needs to be bent but how do we know the direction and what angle it's supposed to be bent at is by coming down to this table and we can see that tag A says um, for the parts to be bent up so let's take this to be the flat face or the fixed face so the fixed face what it means is that point or that face does not get bent so it's a, it's a reference to which other faces like this this and this gets bent to and so this is our fixed face so we go to A and the direction is up so this is supposed to go up and we go to B B is supposed to go up at 90 degrees both of them and C this face is uh, to be bent up so this is what the final um, this is what the final part looks like so we take our protector and then we measure So we take our protector and then we measure the angle, this angle, every bend corner. So here, we measure this bend from this face to this face. We measure from this face to this face. And we cannot measure from here to here because the, the drawing doesn't call it. So even though this looks like it's an angle and it's supposed to be checked, we don't check it. The drawing doesn't call for that. So we only check the face that the drawing calls to be bent. And so we take our protector. Put, I, I, for me, I think the best way to do this is to put on the flat face, which I think is here, and then place on the the face or yeah the face that I want to to check the angle. Um, the right way to check this is when you place the two parts, you keep adjusting the protector till. There is not a, there is no space to see through either here, thank you, either here or here. So you keep adjusting the, the protractor head until it's sitting tightly. And what it, whatever angle you see there is what it's supposed to be. And for um for metal, the, the, the angle of the tolerance for angles is normally one degrees. So if you find anything above that, you um, you talk to your supervisor or you talk to um, the, the band operator. So um, both of you can figure out what to do from there. And so you do the same for this face. And that's 90 degrees, which we want and we do for here and that's 90 degrees which we want so another key thing, another key information i need to point out from the drawing is the band deduction bd now we are dealing with we are having a metal sheet of 0 0.1 to 5 inches aluminum so i i, I believe the standard for um sterling atm is uh, the bend deduction for one, 1 1.25 aluminum sheets it's normally 0 0.201 so if you find any 0, 0.0 say 9 inches aluminum being bent to 0 0.145 um, bend deduction then you need to report that because there is no way you would use an aluminum sheet for of 0 0.09 inches um, to bend at this bend deduction it'll it, it will automatically give you um, a wrong 
dimensions of, of your part so when, when you find that you need to report that and likewise if you find a point one to five aluminum sheets being bent to um, a bend deduction of 0 0.145 you need to also report that to uh, the supervisor or um, or the bend operator the bend machine operator um, so I think that's uh, basically what we need to look out for when using the protractor.